This halfway house for pediatric cancer patients and their parents in Eremita, Manila have been closed for almost a week now. Several residents, including cancer patients in the area, have tested positive for COVID-19. Among those is Bahay Arugas president and founder, 58-year-old Marietta Bonilla, who has died of the disease. So, marami po siya nakakausap na mga tao, mga sponsors, mga donors na rin, uh, lalo na yung mga medical frontliners, marami na siya nakakausap. May mga pasyente, everyday kausap niya yung mga patients and parents. So, hindi rin namin talaga alam kung kanino at saan po niya nakuha yung COVID. About 30 cancer patients and their parents, including staff members, were considered as close contacts. 14 of those who were tested for COVID-19 yielded positive results. Seven of them are children with cancer. All COVID cases in Bahay Aroga are now in a stable condition, but are still under monitoring. Kasi syempre bata to, hindi naman nagsasabi kung ano talaga yung nararamdaman nila. Yun yung, andun yung kaba namin na... Um, kaya ba nila? Kaya ba nilang labanan si COVID? Ano kaya mangyayari kinabukasan? Since 2014, Bahay Aroga has provided free shelter to children with cancer along with their parents. Many of them came all the way from various provinces to seek assistance for treatment and medication. Christy Yusala, for one, had traveled from Bicol three months ago along with her three-year-old daughter who is battling stage 3 eye cancer. Nandito po kami kasi every month po gumabali kami sa PGH para sa chemo niya. May mga binibili po kaming gamot, tapos vitamins po ni Dariela. Minsan po hindi kasi yung pera namin kasi syempre po. Another parent, Rowena Castro, and her 12-year-old daughter with brain cancer have been taking refuge in Bahay Aroga for nine months. Rowena's husband died recently, making it more difficult for her to make ends meet. Bahay Aroga personnel Viana Mata admits that the pandemic has made it more difficult for children to undergo treatment. Chemotherapy sessions are delayed for about a week now as patients are still under quarantine. Dapat po naka-admit po last week, meron po silang chemo na hinto po kasi uh, hindi po sila pwedeng pumunta dito dahil positive po yung ibang pasyente and yung iba na po, na-expose naman po sila. Okay. May monitor naman po, kaya po lagi namin tinatanong ano yung nararamdaman ng bata. She adds that the COVID-19 pandemic has also affected the flow of donations. Nahihirapan din kami humingi din ng tulong dahil syempre sila din naman uh, Nakakaramdam din naman ng, ng financial problem din po. Wala po kami mga regular na uh, donations po na dumarating. So nagaantay lang din po kami ng mga mabubuting loob po na tutulong din po sa amin. With this, the management of Bahay Aroga appeals for help. Cash or in-kind donations are welcome and may be sent through these channels. For News 5, JC Cosico, We Are One News.